40 hours. All right, mom is booked, okay? So just know that I have included my link below. You can book that private reading, but it is about 14 days out right now, all right? All right, let's take a look and see what's going on. This is for Cancer. So I did pre-shuffle. We are set to go. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is the energy for Cancer? November 21st through November 27th. 2019 cancer all right so typically my readings are love but it is just whoever you have on your mind cancer 21st through the big fat 27th let's see what's coming in for you guys all right so i will use a separate deck to clarify let's get going i'm gonna adjust that camera as soon as i get your cards laid out all right cancer what happened in the recent past Ooh. Ouch, Mama says, with the Ten of Swords. Let me give you a hug. All right, a completion. Could have been even some angry words. Swords are about our communication, words, that kind of thing. I mean, he can't even call an Uber cancer because, well, he's dead. So, you know, I'm just saying. Like, something painful, a betrayal, an ending, a fight, something like that where it looks like somebody got hurt. All right. What's the current energy? What do we have? Ooh, hi, Daddy. We have the Emperor, sign of Aries. Strong masculine energy, setting boundaries, taking control, bossing up. What's on this person's mind, though, that you're dealing with? What are they thinking? Ooh, the sun could be a Leo. It just might be a Leo, Cancer. Happiness, clarity, healing. All right, how do they view you, Cancer? What do they think? Well, they think you're the big fat devil. Welcome to my world. I have Cancer rising. All right. Capricorn energy with the devil. All right. We're, I'm just saying, this is how they view you. Okay. They might think that you're stuck. They may feel that um, you guys have some sort of tie to them, some bond that you can't break, restrictions. We'll see what it is. How does this person feel deep down? What's going on? The wheel of fortune. The wheel of fortune. Karma. Maybe they feel like they've pay, paid off some type of karmic debt. They feel like things are beyond their control. This is destiny. It's karma playing out. How do they see moving forward with you, Cancer? The five of wands, conflict, strife. Maybe you guys have had some arguing or some bantering. Or you're just on different pages. Or they're conflicted about how to move forward. What's going on behind the scenes? The hidden factors is the six of wands. Some more Leo energy. All right, what's your advice, Cancer, in dealing with this person? It's the Eight of Cups in reverse. I tell you, I saw a lot of, like, return energy when I was um, shuffling before I started your reading. I mean, we are in retrograde, but I'm just saying. What's the outcome between you and this person? Hello, Nana. It's the lovers. Sign of Gemini. All right, let's pull you down, Cancer, so you can see your cards. All right, what is at the bottom of the deck? What is it? Ooh, it's a love offer with the Knight of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Sometimes that Knight of Cups is bringing in an apology. It can be love, obviously. Some sort of emotional offer. That Knight of Cups has something in that cup, Cancer. He or she does. All right. We're going to see what all of this is. Some of you guys have uh, maybe new love. A new relationship with the lovers here, Gemini, some sort of choice or decision that you're going to have to make. Let's see what this is all about. All right, what do we see for Cancer? This is the 21st through the 27th of November 2019. What's up for Cancer, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This deck has also been shuffled, but I like to do a few more during the reading. Cancer, what can you expect? Collective energy for Cancer, the 21st through the 27th. What's up, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? All right, let's cut this bad bitch of a deck, and then we're going to talk about it. All right. All right. What's this uh, Knight of Cups? Why is this the overall energy for Cancer, the 21st through the 27th? What's this Knight of Cups about? What is it? Ooh, it's the Page of Wands. Communication is coming. If you're waiting on communication, I see it coming. Could be from somebody you had some sort of ending with. What's this page of wands? Could be new for some of you guys too that I'm feeling. What's this page of wands about? Fire energy. The seven of pentacles. I think some of you, the overall energies, you'll get an apology or you'll hear from somebody from your past. They're waiting. They're reflecting. 
on how to do this. Communication is coming. All right, let's see what's happened, though. The past, we have some betrayal or an ending, maybe a fight. What's this uh, uh, Ten of Swords about? Why is this here for Cancer's past? Well, it could be you, the moon. Yes, it's Pisces, Major Arcana, but I always feel like it's Cancerian energy. There was some uh, things going on behind the scenes, some deception, some betrayal here, some secrets that were kept. Somebody decided to end it, right? Could have been a lot of um, anxiety and depression, too, with that Ten of Swords and the Moon. Give me one more card on the Moon. Why is this here in the past? And you decided to release the devil. Somebody did. There was um, betrayal, secrets, anxiety, things that, you know, deception and confusion, all that bullshit. And with the devil in reverse, that's Capricorn energy. Somebody was like, mm, I think I'm good. I'm done. Let me just release this. All right. And so now we have the Emperor, the Emperor Aries energy, but this is also like taking back control and, and setting boundaries. Why is the Emperor here? Ooh, King of Pentacles. Hi, Daddy and Daddy. <clears throat> Emperor energy, the King of Pentacles. So after letting some bullshit go, release here <clears throat> of things that were just causing somebody a lot of effing pain, now we're setting boundaries. Some of you have met somebody new. <clears throat> They could be older. If they're not older, they're just mature. They're stable. They probably have a good job, make good money. They want commitment long term. This person's bringing very, um, let me wine and dine you. Let me give you a commitment. Let me take care of you. Very nurturing, grounded energy is what I'm seeing. All right. Now on the person's mind, whoever you're thinking about is the sun. Why is the sun here? Sign of Leo. What's this about? The fool embarking on a new journey, <clears throat> happiness, right? More Aries energy. Some of you are definitely dealing with an Aries. I feel like this is newer. I feel like this person, whomever, the past you've let go because there was some bullshit. And now I'm feeling like new, strong commitment moving forward. And whomever you're dealing with that's newer. Or if you've had a resurgence with some, now there's happiness and there's a new beginning here with the fool. The fool is carefree, right? And the sun is a lot of happiness and positivity. What's the fool energy about? What is it? The four of pentacles. The person that you're dealing with from the past, they've been holding back because they're trying to heal, right? Why the four of pentacles on this person's mind though? Why is this four of pentacles here? The emperor in reverse. Lack of control and boundaries. Lack of they feel a lack of power. I feel like the overall energy cancer. Some of you have like a past person coming in with an apology. I think this is newer energy though. I do. I know we have the seven of pentacles here. But I feel like that seven of pentacles is somebody that's going to invest. It's very mature energy. But y'all are still thinking about somebody from the past. And on this person's mind, they're healing and they're trying to take like this new path, right? And they're holding back because they feel like something's just beyond y'all's control. It was probably some of this toxicity. But then this current energy is somebody new with this. It's new. It's new emotion, new love. That page of wands is also new. Now, how does this person view you? It's the devil. This is the person from the past or that you were having some shit with. What's this devil energy? Yeah, death. Sign of Scorpio. So maybe you have Scorpio in your chart or you were dealing with a Scorpio. They feel this is the past person. Because, see, you, you release them. They feel like y'all had toxicity and you ended it with the death card. This is new. This is the old person on their mind. Cancers deal with a couple people here. The past person knows that you guys had these like chains, right? You guys had restrictions and, and the, the connection was just toxic and you ended it with death. Why is death here? Yep, the Ten of Cups to get your own happiness back, which you're doing now presently. Could have been a marriage for some of you guys, especially with the Emperor and the King of Pentacles. Now this person that you're thinking of, Cancer, and their emotions, they're the Wheel of Fortune. Why is this Wheel of Fortune here? Yeah, see the Eight of Cups. They know they have to move on. They have to walk away. Unforeseen changes, their karma, their destiny is to move on. I don't think you're that upset about it, Cancer, to be honest. Because I think you've ended it. Or they view you as have ending it. Because you're on to kind of like 
other things. Why are they walking away? What's this Eight of Cups? Why is this Eight of Cups here in this person's emotions? Yeah, the magician could be a Virgo, Gemini, manifesting new things, number one. So they go from, you know, the fool, which is zero, to magician one, creating. They're walking away. They're trying to create new things in their life. Because how does this person feel moving forward? Five of Wands. Why is this Five of Wands here? Yeah, the Three of Swords, Libra energy. They just know. You guys have had too many disputes. Arguments, you're not on the same page. You guys both want new things. I think you both are letting go of each other. I think a lot of you have something new, though, that's a lot more grounded and stable and is leading towards commitment. This person feels that it's just, you know, there's been a lot of probably angry words, their disappointment, obviously a breakup with the Three of Swords. You guys just wanted different things. And there could have been some biting words or communication. Now, what's going on behind the scenes? We've got the Six of Wands. Why is this here? Well, it's because of you, the Chariot, sign of Cancer. It's you, Cancer. It's you. You're behind the scenes. You guys have victory and success. Two cards of victory. Moving forward quickly. I think it's going to come in quickly, but it hasn't already. You're going to be getting a lot of attention and overcoming some other obstacles moving forward towards something more successful, more committed, more nurturing, more stable. Your advice is this Eight of Cups in Reverse. Don't let the past keep you from moving on, right? What's this Eight of Cups in Reverse? Yeah, because you have a new beginning with the Ace of Pentacles. You got to leave the past in the past. Don't turn back. It's retrograde. Don't go back to shit. Cancer, you have somebody new that wants to invest. You may have already started communicating with this person. If you haven't, you will. <clears throat> That's what I'm seeing. The person from the past knows it. They're kind of adios too. Ace of Pentacles is a gift from the universe. They say, here, plant it, Cancer. It has a lot of growth and potential. What's coming in? Why is this the advice for Cancer? What's this Ace of Pentacles? What's coming in with the Ace of Pentacles for Cancer? The Nine of Cups in Reverse. And I think you guys have waited for a while for this. You're, you've been depleted, dissatisfied on an emotional level with this shit. But now the universe comes in with a gift for you. You guys are tired. I got it. Outcome cancer has the lovers. Could be a new relationship for a lot of you. I think it is. If it hasn't come, it's coming. What's the lovers? Uh, sign of Gemini. Why is the lovers card here in the outcome for cancer? What is it? And what is it now? It's the king of wands in reverse. Just be careful, though. You know, King of Wands in reverse, Leo, Sag, Aries, energy. Could be a fire sign. It doesn't have to be. This this person, I feel like this is stable. They want to give you something, or this is their energy now. But just make sure this person isn't a switcher, right? They're not wearing some sort of false mask. The lovers with the King of Wands in reverse <clears throat> could be like sex only. Or this king of wands in reverse, even if they're not a fire sign, they decide to not take action in some way. Or they're kind of being a little bit of a thirsty girl, ladies man. What's this king of wands in reverse? Why is he in reverse? Justice, sign of Libra. Make sure this dude's not married or a woman. Balance is going to be restored, though. Why is justice here in the outcome? What's justice about? Why is this here? Libra and energy. So you got that knight of cups again. I got it. Mom sees it now. I see it clearly. <sighs> Jesus. Mom's, mom's been tired, you guys. I've had a lot going on. The lovers is you guys making that decision. You're finally using your head. You're tired of being dissatisfied. You've got somebody now that's willing to bring you commitment and stability. King of Pentacles likes to take you out and, you know, wine and dine you, right? Build. You guys got this, like, strong-ass masculine energy. And even if you're a male, this is you, right? You want that. Outcome shows cancer making a decision finally, right? Using your head to cut out king of wands in reverse. You're making a choice, a decision. If it's not a, you know, a fire sign that this is this devil energy in the past, this is just somebody that wasn't taking action, right? They weren't making shit happen. Justice comes in. Finally, good karma. And you have new love with the knight of cups. Okay, that was the overall energy too. What's this Knight of Cups about? Why is the Knight of Cups and the outcome for cancer? What is it and what is it now? 
the hanged man, Son of Pisces. A lot of Pisces energy there, too. I think you guys are going to be smart. You're going to take a little bit of time. You want to really gain some clarity on this. For a lot of you, this is a new connection. But it may not be that long since you let go of this energy. And with the hanged man, the hanged man is very spiritual energy. The hanged man is, you know what, let me make sure, let me check it out. Let me make sure this person is who they say they are, right? You guys may be even having some doubt. If you've started dating someone kind of on the newer side after going through some shit in the past, you may be really kind of just pausing and reflecting on this, right? Because you want to make sure you're using your head. Yeah, make sure. Two of wands. Right? Because you're going to have a decision to make here about your future. And so you're really going to be reflecting. You definitely have somebody newer, a newer connection, I think, Cancer. Or you will. But you're like, Ugh. you feel like it's a little bit shaky. It's almost like, is this too good to be true? So you're going to really reflect on this, too, of wands. It's not a bad reading. You guys. <laughs>